And here's the steal of the night. 1980s, possibly 90s, Gucci loafers. All right, it is Sunday night. Last week I started 45 auctions, all at 99 cents starting bid. I do not expect all of them to sell. Um, it is now Sunday, so all 45 will be closing here in a few minutes. They're spread out over about a half hour just because it took a few minutes to get them all to launch. As of now, 45 total listings, 24 have bids, so um, my goal is to sell half of them, so half of them will sell. A bunch have watchers, so I'm expecting that might get up to 30 or so. Um, we'll see what the total goes up to. We're already at about 200-ish dollars for all of them, but there's a couple sleepers I'm expecting to kind of spike up at the last minute, so... Um, couple hundred bucks this uh, very well may be a one thousand dollar day with the other sales I had so and um, I'll summarize at the end all the, the stuff that goes out I uh, already got one that is gonna get canceled um, I need to stop judging people based on their feedback score someone with like 2,000 feedback messaged me less than an hour before the auction was done they placed their bid two days ago and said I'd like to cancel so I'll be handling that but catch the updates here in a second all right first up is a hershey's coffee mug i'm not gonna put the listing up it's not gonna sell i didn't even have it leave this room because i didn't expect it to sell uh put that up for 99 cents i either found that in a storage locker or picked it up at a thrift store um it is now ended no bids on that one it is timberland women's shoes a lot of these women's shoes i have are like size 9 size 10 so they're larger sizes um these ones have one watcher no bids and they're like these really tall um what they call like knee high um white and white and gray so 30 seconds that one will close timberland boots three two one no bids that's two oh for for two so far rough start <laughs> next up are some men's shoes size eight black labels the brand uh, i got these ones in a uh, storage locker that was i bought just for the mannequin ended up being a boutique, so I've already crushed all the money out of that locker, so any pennies I can pull out is, is easy money. So that one um, got almost no views, so I'll probably have to look how I had the keywords or something like that, because something's missing on that. Black Label Shoes, three, two, one, no bids, I'm 0 for 3. Some people are going to get some steals tonight, because I've got a lot of items that are going to end up selling for just 99 cents and it's going to be a, a great deal assuming shipping isn't too bad um which is a loss really for me but uh I'm, I'm getting the learning value out of this stuff so next up i've got um some insulated winter boots um for men a lot of this is close out winter stuff that i don't expect to do well but again just trying to learn um those are thermalite insulated and uh got a good amount of views on those but no watchers, no bids, and that one is closed. So 0 for 4. Next up, got Adidas t-shirt. Um, got one bid on it, so 99 cents. And that one has uh, nine watchers, so we'll see what this looks like here in two seconds. Um, 10 seconds to go, current high bid, 99 cents. So this will be the first guaranteed sale. There it is, bid up to 376. And last second bids closes at spinning. Oh, 376. Next up is a t shirt by Black Pyramid have two shirts by black pyramid um this one's a crazy looking color size extra large men's i got no view or i got 10 views no watchers no bids on this one so this will be another one um that goes without selling so um the one following it has two watchers and already has a bid so it may be another one that gets a couple bucks so that one is now closed with no bids I am one for six. <laughs> Good thing I set low expectations. Um, I'm getting some bids on some shoes that are coming up here in a bit. 
So next Black Pyramid shirt closes in 20 seconds. Again, current high bid, 99 cents. Someone will probably get this one for just the buck. Kind of cool shirt. Let me pull it up here. Looks like that. And five seconds. Two, one. All right, someone got that for 99 cents. Next up, anthropology jeans, women's. Uh, I could not find a product code on these or anything like that and listed them as best as possible. Anthropology seemed to have a pretty good range of prices that it sold for. I thought it was a decent brand, um, but no bids and no watchers. So this will probably go unsold. And uh, for that particular one, rather than donate it, I've got another outlet for that. That one closes in just a minute. All right, three, two, one. Anthropology jeans, no sale. So that's two sold, six not sold. Great start. Um, next up are new in box. Oh, they're not new in box. Never mind. They're used, but they come in the box. These are wild. These came from the same locker that had um, a boutique. So they're Kolhan boots, but they're made by or the soles are made by Nike Air. So um kind of a cool concept this one's got six watchers and the bids currently at three dollars and 58 cents um, so this one will be a guaranteed sale which puts us batting almost 300 here um the one coming right after this is they're 10 seconds apart so let me show you this one this one current bid is 41 dollars. so these are um, some adidas uh what is the model adidas pro model um, again, they're used, but those are in crazy good condition. Um, the bottoms are in spectacular shape. Um, so back-to-back -back guaranteed sales here. The Kohans close in 20 seconds. That'll be cool. Um, 12. So this one may sell for $3.58. I said there was going to be some steals. These go for anywhere from $30 to $40 on Poshmark and stuff like that. So someone just got the shoes for $3.58. <laughs> there we go. Told you there'd be some steals tonight. Next up are the Pro Model shoes ending right after. Chichings are going to be going crazy. All right, so far, lesson learned, the t-shirts and shoes are likely not great. Um, the very popular shoe models I've always been confident with for auctions, but the more abstract, unique ones don't seem very, very smart. So we got 15 seconds left. I have 26 bids already on these Adidas, um, five different bidders and six watchers, so I'm expecting maybe one more bid here at the last second. Um, this one had almost 260 views and okay so that one sold at 41 looks like that's a case where it gets bid up to its max price um, before the auction ends that's another thing I'm trying to learn here is what types and what categories of items um, have earlier bidding versus later bidding next up are some cowboy boots women's these are likely to go unsold Pretty basic. These were gonna get donated, so even a buck is worth it. Um, 10 seconds, no watchers, no bids, uh, 22 views. And then the one right after that, let me let this one end first. All right, so that one has ended with no bids. Current tally, four sold and seven unsold. Next, we have I believe these are vintage. I put a big question mark on them because um, I can't find the date and I can't find a comparable model. Um, these are uh, equestrian boots, leather. They curr currently have a 99 cent bid. Um, they have a brand logo on them, but I cannot identify the name. So this one has three watchers and one bid, and we're coming up on five seconds here. Currently high bid is 99 cents. And it is sold for 
99 cents. So far, two steals for buyers for shoes. So next up, I have another just random kind of modern t-shirt. Um, like a camo pattern, black, red, and green. And it's got like a bunch of $100 bills and like interesting artwork on it. Brand is called Switch. Remarkable. Um, one watcher, no bids. And that is unsold. Eight unsold, five sold. Next up is the uh oh no this is not the other black pyramid shirt this is the born fly t-shirt already has one bid no watchers and is likely to close at just 99 cents so it's got a star and then that says fly even though you can't really see it so that one three seconds keep my tally going that's six sold and barely at 50 bucks next up are some diesel shoes same thing as all the other stuff oh there's another bid on some ski boots um oh, this is really hard to see it says green diesel shoes used again anywhere from 20 30 bucks if i sit on them long enough it's just not worth um for me i had them up for a couple months on poshmark so I'd rather just clear the inventory on a lot of these. They're not the kind of shoes I like selling. Um, 10 seconds, and that one goes unsold. Next up, this one will be fun. So this one is a L.L. Bean hat with the flaps, ear flaps on it. Um, pretty good condition. It has one bid for 99 cents with five watchers, so we might get a last second bid on this one. Two seconds, two dollars and three cents, it looks like is the high bid. So that was one of the first last second. Oh well, second one I guess. So someone got that for two bucks. Same with that. That could have got twenty, thirty bucks from if I sat on it long enough, but where's the fun in that? Next up is the Warriors uh beanie. This is by Mitchell Ness. It was at 99 cents, now it's at a buck twenty-five. And last second bids have it at. I got too many things going up. A buck twenty-five is the final bid there. So we're at eight sold and nine unsold. Next we have these are gonna go wild. High bid, nine dollars fifty cents, Nike Cortez, seven watchers, and that's what they look like. They're vintage. They might be 80s. I just couldn't tell. Someone might actually get a really good deal on these. Do, do, do. And wow, someone got them for $10.27. That was one of the ones I was actually expecting to get um, 20 plus for. So so be it. There's the fun in, in this. So um, oh, I lost my place. Next up is sort ending soonest next up is a disney hood uh sweatshirt kids it's disney store and it just ended so i'm not going to show you the picture um but that went sold for 99 cents all right we have now surpassed 50 percent so um 10 sold and nine unsold so we're batting pretty good all right this one might be a steal can't identify any info on it. It's Daffy Duck and Buffalo Bills on a leather backpack. Both of the bidders have vintage in their name, which tells me <laughs> it's desirable to someone. High bid is $2, and it's got five seconds left. $2 and a quarter, and someone just bid it. Oh, here we go. $18.52. So that just went from 2 bucks up to $18 real quick, so... I'm going to guess that's way cheaper than they were expecting because I had somebody ask if they could buy it outright from me. Um, bunch of camera accessories here that just went unsold. If I can clear these notifications. 
Next up, I have high hopes for another Disney product, but this one seems more likely. Uh, this is from the 90s, I think. It's got a bunch of patchwork. Um, Mickey and Co. Disney International. Went from $2 to 1150 and just sold for $12.50. That's one I could have gotten 50 to 70 bucks if I waited six months to a year. I've got no interest in waiting that long. I'd rather learn learn the process this way. So oh, I keep losing my place. Ending soonest. Next up, we have a hoodie that's going to go unsold. Uh, it's got some drug paraphernalia on it. Um, after that are some men's jeans. We're getting into the men's jeans category here. So um, Echo Unlimited. I did not have high expectations for these ones. And three seconds, no watchers. That's unsold. Next up is two pairs of men's jeans, two different brands, uh, Rail and 1738 Dynasty. They're um, distressed, I guess you would call them. Hard to tell. $3.75 is the high bid and sold for $3.75 for two pairs of jeans. Shopping for men's jeans. Buy my stuff on eBay, apparently. Um, Lion Dynasty, another pair of men's jeans. This is another locker I've already made my money off of, so um, just got a bid for $35 for some books. So Dynasty jeans unsold. Um, next up is The Sound of Music from 1959. Sheet music for vocals. Oh, wow, that's right. There you go. I was surprised I even got one bid, let alone two. That one is currently at a buck and a quarter. Um, so that one's definitely going to sell. I'm going to pause it here because I've got a minute to kill. Ten seconds for the sound of music. Currently at a buck twenty-five. Juggling too many things at once. And that is sold for a buck twenty-five. Should have explained all of this. Um, the buyer's paying shipping, so I'm not. I'd be paying people to take this stuff if that was the case. Um, this is a pair of men's True Religion jeans, currently at twenty-two dollars. Uh, a couple seconds left here. I got ten watchers, so let's see. Looks like twenty-two is the high bid. So there's another one where the high bid came in almost a day before. So we're at fifteen sold and thirteen unsold. Next up are some women's shoes, one bid for 99 cents, and they are glowfish, they're just little flats, or yeah, slip-on flats, I guess, um, that sold for 99 cents, 16 sold. Um, next up, women's biker style wanted is the brand, their boots, um, yeah, these aren't selling. Um, no watchers, no bids. And let's see. Those are ended. Next are Ann Klein heels. Wow. Um, these are definitely not selling. Only one view. I did not catch this, so that's exactly what I expected from some of these women's shoes. These were in a pile to go to Goodwill and I figured I'll try a listing and see if there's any surprises. So um, after that, we've got Joan and David is a different um, different brand, their heels. These have one watcher, so this has a chance. Um, there is no bid on those, correct. And those are now closed with no buyer next up is a lot of 28 cds mixed genre there is some bob marley in there um there's a heavy dcd um and prints so i made sure i put those in the title to make sure you trigger those keywords 
a lot of times I sell these to people who resell them individually. Um, so current high bid is at $10.50. So these are guaranteed to sell. Um, right after this is a pile of comic books that I'm very excited for um, that should bid up a little bit more. So music CDs are closed at $10.50. 17 sold. And here are, so Witchblade is the name of the comic book series. It's seven, seven volumes, $35 high bid, three seconds left. And looks like it sold for $35. That's a steal for someone. All right, next up are not gonna sell. These are Obama beanies. I've got a ton of these from another locker. I sell them individually. I just don't have any of the pink ones listed. Those just went unsold. And here's the steal of the night. 1980s, possibly 90s Gucci loafers, current high bid, 99 cents. I expected at least 20 to 50 bucks out of these. And someone just got them for 99 cents. So hopefully those are going to a good home. Next up is a Redskins uh, puffer jacket for high bid of 99 cents. Team that will never be named again. All right, bid up to buck 78, and someone just got it for buck 78. Next up is a University of Maryland like Letterman jacket with a big terrapin on the back. Um, that one is currently at six dollars and fifty cents with ten seconds left. It has zero watchers and two bidders, so the current high bidder is likely to remain. Um, getting a couple extra bids on some rollerblades here. All right, the Terrapin jacket is now sold for $6.50. Can't keep up with these now. All right, next up is ice skates with a vintage ice skates, uh, hockey skates, actually. So that goes unsold. Right after that are some other skates with a 99-cent bid. Uh, but those ones are being canceled, so I'll make a note of that one. So that one is now sold, and I will be canceling that for the buyer because um, there was another buyer. Um, next up is an Obama beanie and scarf set, still with tags. Uh, I was going to list that by it, by it now, but I figured I'd see if there was a bidding war, and there was barely even any views, so that's one more unsold. Next up are some roller skates. We've got one watcher and two bidders from the 90s. Um, $4 bid. And looks like it sold for $4.33. And next up are some ski boots. And those are sold for 99 cents or snowboard boots. Um, this one's wild. Four mini helmets, NFL. I bought those at a garage sale for a dollar each. So I'm in for four dollars. You got Buccaneers, the um, Rams, the Chargers, and the Buffalo Bills. Apparently it's the Buffalo Bills night. Those are now up to $76.00. Um, all these sounds are people paying for their auction, so that's awesome. Um, I had these as a buy it now for $60 for two weeks, and I got no bites, no offers, so I put it as an auction, and the auction's already yielding 25% um, more than I had as the max price. So I'm not expecting another bid on this, but it's got four watchers um, and 19 current bids. $76 is fantastic, so that's one of the ones that far exceeded expectations tonight. Um, and then right after that, 
is uh, another surprising underperformer. So I've had this as a buy now for like 50, 60 bucks. It's a Yoda backpack, new with tags from Disney World. Um, no bites, no offers on it. A couple have sold over time for 50 to 70 bucks. So I was expecting it to go go for cheap but to sell, but I've got no bites on that. So that's an interesting lesson learned there. So we've got the um, mini helmets just sold for $76. So that's our high one of the night. And number 25. 25 have sold and 19 have not sold. All right, we're waiting for the Disney backpack Yoda to sell, and it actually got a last second bid for 99 cents. So somebody did, in fact, get a steal on it. And that ends the night at. Two hundred and sixty two dollars and ninety three cents. So with my other sales today, that brings me pretty close to a thousand dollar day, but not all the way there. Um, definitely a lot. A lot of interesting data. I'm going to pick through um, some surprising things and most of it was to be expected. So um, final tally is. 26 out of 45 items sold far crushed my half 50 percent goal and then that meant um, 19 unsold and that total of just over 200 and what 50 something dollars so um definitely gonna do some more experimenting with with some of these clothing items especially it's so hit or miss you got to know which ones are worth putting as an auction but i think that's going to be a good way that i'm going to offload a lot of volume um, just because I don't have much money in it and the biggest advantage of doing this has been I pack it all up while I'm listing it because I know it's only gonna sit here for a week um, normally I don't keep things in their final package state uh, when they're sitting in inventory but um, I can do all that and then it's a pretty quick shipping so I'm just gonna spend maybe a half hour here and get 20 some things boxed up and labels on them so pretty solid um, I'll probably do this again in, in a week or two. I only got a few to list right now for next week. So, um, fun stuff at the very least. That was a half hour of, of excitement. So definitely going to continue doing that. So thanks for, for following along. Hopefully there was some, some info and some education there, but, um, I'll catch you on the next one.